Okay, this is feeding my starter. Um, I took the excess off and put it in my discard container. That'll go in the fridge for when I need it later or if I need to supplement starter because I don't have enough here because that's just starter that hasn't been fed in a while. Um, my container weighs 43 grams. Put it on here, about 144, 143, so that's fine. I'm going to put in 100 grams. This is water like a baby bottle, warm water. Oh, let me set it, reset my scale to about 100. I'm off by a gram or two. It's no big deal. Whoops. That's 104. I'm going to pour just a little bit off. That's why I do the water first because it's easy to pour off. So I need a couple more grams. Okay, 100, 101, we're fine. This is my whole wheat flour, King Arthur whole wheat. Reset my scale to zero. 100 grams of this. So this is equal parts. Okay, 103, that's okay. And if it looks a little bit too stiff, I'll just mix some more water in, no big deal. The thing is, you just don't want to have more starter than water or flour. And see that, you yeah, know, I guess that's kind of stiff, but it does get a little looser as it sits in the fridge and the little starter critters get busy eating up all the stuff. Turn that off so I stop confusing my scale. Get it out of the way. I'm just going to mix it until I know that starter is good and mixed in there with the water. And this feeds my bread just fine. I know everybody thinks liquid starter's the way to go, but I, if it ain't broke, I'm not fixing it. And this proofs my bread just great. In three to five hours of bulk fermentation, and then I do an overnight ferment. Anywhere from 16 to 24 or so hours. I don't get paranoid with that because it's cold. Then I shape it and score it. and Well, it's already shaped, but I score it and put it in the fridge. That's probably good. And then I've just put the lid on. This is a plastic container. It's an old macaroni container from the grocery store. I'll put, just let that sit at room temp. Actually, when I proof it, I just put it cockeyed like that. So there you go. That's how I'm going to feed my starter. That's how stiff it is. Hope that helped.